three different methods to farm ergo early middle and late game plus a vendor for all the throwables shot putts electricity canisters all the needs to just get bosses obliterated first the setup then the ergo farms timestamps in the description below how would the setup look for the ergo farm from a weapon perspective, I'm using the Salamander Dagger together with the Acidic Crystal Spear Handle, which you're both getting exactly before the first farm. We're going to be fighting Carcass opponents, and that just burns them into pieces. You'll see. That being said, you could use any weapon. P-Organ-wise, before you start any Ergo farm, you want to have the increased Ergo up and eliminating an enemy. That one you can get straight up on the beginning, and then as soon as you reach Phase 3, there's another one, plus 2, and I think in phase five, I had another plus three later on. So you can make your Ergo farm even more efficient. Now, the final piece is the Hunter's Amulet. Increases Ergo acquisition when killing enemies. That one you won't have if you start straight up farming the Melum District after killing Bishop Andreas. Because it drops in the Laurencini Arcade. It's also 100% impossible to miss. As you're in the Laurencini Arcade, you'll be having to go to this little bar and into the Sella area. And there will be a crazy clown puppet with two cleavers slamming on the ground fighting versus you. Best advice is take something with electricity with you, trigger the clown who's jumping behind these tasks, and then they will be freed and will be fighting the clown. He's going to be very annoying, but if you strafe around him, usually he's easy to beat. Or just bring yourself electricity canisters to just spam him down. As soon as he's dead, you can actually continue. And that's what I'm saying. You have to kill him. So you will 100% get the Hunter's Amulet. The final component is the Puppet String. Yes, you want the Puppet String and you want it maximum leveled up. Puppet String, Trace, Dodge, and Attack Link. Because the Attack Link truly trivializes combats against the enemies we're going to be facing. If you haven't seen the Attack Link yet, that is the update that allows you to pull yourself in, jump up, and hit him down. You'll see why this is so important to just speed up the whole process. Now, a final honorary mention, if you're actually doing NG plus Ergo Farm, for example, in the Lorenzini Arcade, there's the Noblest of Lies you get for killing Simon Manus. And the tooltip reads, a mystical cudgel made from an Ergo Crystal tree while battering enemies at amid spores, increasing the Ergo acquisition rate. That is 10, 12% bonus. As you're killing enemies with this, more Ergo, the ultimate min-maxing. Now off to the farm. The first one begins at the Melum District Stargazer just after beating Bishop Andreas. You will have to make your way around the area to unlock the Red Lobster. Then you're just going to run in and it helps to have the puppet string, as we mentioned. Keep to the right side of the monster because if you keep on the right side, it just hits straight up past you. Heavy attacks to stagger it and then keep heavy attacking because that just gets it down. 611 Ergo, followed up by another... 119 into another 119 and then this dude usually falls down if it doesn't fall down don't bother about like killing it just run back you could use the stopwatch but honestly the stopwatch loading time is vastly longer than just running back and forth to be honest and this one would be with a puppet string if you already have it maxed out if you found enough legion plucks if you did discover and explore again stagger finish i mean you see how simple the weapon is these two can be finished off the boss or the elite often drops also very useful items shot puts star fragments vivid ergos can drop so all these things that give you even more bonus ergo because as you see we're getting around 611 plus 119 plus 119 so in under 30 seconds you can get already almost 900 ergo Plus a fragment, which gives another boost. Chantadanka on top. And the shot putts, which also cost each 400 ergo. So you notice there's quite some coming together. That would be Fable Catalyst, another vivid ergo fragment, because they buffed that these actually drop. And the vivid is another 300. So per run, you can up to get in 30 seconds 1,200 ergo. It says 2,400 in a minute. And if you do it faster, you know, 20 seconds, you can get even more. 2,400 per minute, 24,000 per 10 minutes. And then, oh, there, it jumped down. Perfect. Which enhances your ergo by another 119. 
which gives you roughly 100k ergo per hour early on if you want it if you need it if you need this for throwing items leveling and so on the best part is the vendor for these items is actually straight up here so <laughs> if you want to spend it sad ergo or shenanigans yep there is the Malum district vendor who does sell you the shot puts the sawtooth wheel the saw blades the electric bliss canasters throwing cells everything now off to the next farm next farm two acts later lawrence senior arcade a wee bit more efficient in order to do this farm you will have to progress a little bit through the own senior arcade already and activated the shortcut at the well you'll get here no matter what turn straight up left then you can kill the first one which gives you a whopping 100 89 so in the drop down thingies are actually going to release another one to kill and this dude also to stab which gives you another 200 another 200 roughly and then the last one you want to kill is dave here and dave is very simple to kill especially with a puppet string when you simply puppet string in his attack always goes over you and then you can just heavy attack stab him notice how simple it's going down but the crazy part is Dying 1,000 ergo from him. Huh. 1,000, ladies and gentlemen. Same goes for him. Go in, go up, go out. Heavy attacks. And due to the burning and everything, yes, they die so fast. There's another one spawning out of this. Thank you for even more. And that is, yes, 2,200 from both of these, plus another six, 700 from all the others. And you run through the shortcut again or use your pocket stopwatch i feel like the stopwatch loading times are a bit longer than this and we're going back in to the left now doing everything a little bit faster we got her stab 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 oh don't actually have to stab her a third time and he's gonna be stab stab he's dropping down if you want to be a bit more efficient burning blade zip in and this is why you really want the puppet string due to it being so good you notice with a burn i kill him even faster it's actually crazy how much faster i do kill him when i have the burn active and the good thing is that the burn is able to be enhanced in its duration due to key organs which makes life tremendously easier you don't you don't even have to do the stabbing attack i mean kill him because he just walks up to you one hit boom That's crazy. My feelingly roughly 3,000 ergo per minute. That's a lot per hour. And it's so early, especially with the Lorenzini arcade. That's that's act seven. Didn't actually check if they would drop any items, I will have to admit. So might be might be able to do this a wee bit. You know, with even more. I mean, my Ergo is already replenished because we're essentially just heavy attack to get that back. My Ergo, my Fable. Sorry. Being weird. Did you actually drop items? I didn't even check. Oh, yeah. It, oh, it could drop Vivid Ergo Fragments, which is another 300 Ergo Plus. That's good to know. And it doesn't really cost you much time to pick that up. He almost hit me with a special attack, but... Almost is not hitting. <laughs> and another... Oh, Dark Moonstone of the Covenant here as well. I mean, these farms quite do give some useful items. I'm not going to lie. The third one is my favorite, and that comes with a burning hatred for alchemist enemies. Collapsed Shred in Act 9. That's the late game farm. And here I'm swapping my fire out for acid because they're humans. Well, but you'll probably take your heavy hitting weapon, whatever you get running. And there is the alchemist and puppet string trivializes this so much. Jump up, push him down, go for the double stab, double stab, double stab, then rush up to the next one, down as well. And here you don't even need to puppet string. You can just straight up push him in the back because they stagger so easy. Finish him off. That is another 600. So 600 for each of them. And then puppet string to kill Timothy. He goes down. And yes, if I would activate my crystal spear to be poisoning straight away, 
maybe even more then and there is a final one to get killed by my last puppet string okay he wants the sauce the final puppet string <laughs> You notice I have enough puppet strings to exactly do it and well I guess if you have a very heavy hitting motivity weapon you can be even more efficient so that is 600 600 600 yes and then you can run up to kill the last one a charge attack helps here as you've seen so I run into him charge him in the back he straight up gets staggered now you could stopwatch straight away back but there is technically two opponents. They're so easy to kill. Rush up to him, stab him, jump one back so he doesn't explode on you, and then fall down and kill him. Stop, watch out, rinse and repeat. I do hate the alchemists for what they have done to Krant, and this is by far my favorite one, lore-wise, and it does give copious amounts. I mean, let's calculate this together. The speed is extremely fast. We're going to be killing four of these, which give 600 each. Again, rush up. You've seen it. Super simple. Puppet string trivializes it, but you can also get him staggered with the stagger in the back. Ow. That was 600 with another 200 into another 600. And we're going to activate our Poison Acid Spear in a second to just see how much damage that increased again. We have 1,400 already. Get the Acid Spear up. This time we're going <laughs> to just give him the dirty one. And you notice how, like, yeah, that's that was him. Another 600. Oh, I, I did hit the wall. Sorry, chat, for the disappointment. Don't forget to loot them because they can drop half moon stones. They can drop ogre fragments and everything again. So it's not like that they can't have any crazy loot going on. Staggered, stabbed, everything. To 2,400 for alone killing these. Followed up by, I think they gave 300. You, you did give 300 each, did you? Step back, fall down. Kill. I like it two fifty each. Quick, efficient, fun, easy. Melon District, Lorenzini Arcade, or Clapping Alchemist Cheese. Which one is it going to be for you? And if you're now looking for a build to use that Ergo on, how about the Lamental Stabber or the One Hit Smasher? Two amazing ones to beat the game for you.